Okay, guys. So this is me watching the new Twilight teaser trailer. You know, I've been really excited about this, and so now I'm gonna watch. Okay, I'm watching. I got the green screen. How old are you? Seventeen. How long have you been seventeen? A while. She's wrong, Edward. She's not one of us. Okay, so it's over. Um, I just want to say that Robert Pattinson is the gay greatest of all the gayest, greatest, the flip up, um, the greatest of all of God's creations. Like, he's the most helpful thing to society. Like, we could, it would be so amazing. We could, we could, like, not have computers. We could not have, like, the light bulb. We could not have, like, the internet. But, like, if Robert was there, like, the world would be, like, so perfect. Like, we'd be, like, still be, like, as awesome as we are. Like, seriously, like, for this movie, like, Robert's going to win, like, 20 million Oscars. They're going to invent new Oscars just for Robert. And, I mean, like, he's just so good. Like, he's just, like, like, he's, like, just amazing. He's, like... God, okay, like, he's even better than, like, the God in the Bible, he's, like, he's, like, if you put Jesus, and, like, all those Indian gods, and, like, the Jewish, like, stuff, and, like, you put them all together, it's, like, it doesn't come close to Robert, like, it just, so, okay, guys, seriously, if you guys haven't been able to tell yet, this is a parody of the Niz Amazing 1, 2, 3, video reply to the Twilight trailer. I'm only doing this trailer because I know her from school and like I just was so tempted to do this that I had to. Okay, so I'm probably one of like the three boys in the world that actually read through the Twilight book. The first, well, I didn't read through it, I read about halfway through the first one. And so, I guess I have some perspective on how I perceive, you know, sort of how I would think the book would be made into a movie. And so, um, I mean, like, the way they portray, like, the way that, like, Robert Pattinson portray portrays, like, Edward Cullen, it's just, it, it doesn't feel right to me. Like, there's not... He, like, he plays it like he's, like, this Marlon Brando, James Dean, like, tough teenager. Like, look at the way, you know, like, he said a while in the trailers. Like, how long have you been 17? A while. And I mean, like, it's just, it's, I don't think he's right for the part. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I saw him as Cedric. He was pretty good as Cedric. But I just don't think he is a good enough actor to pull it off. Because, like, my being an actor... No, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying, like, I'd be better or anything. I'm just saying that he, it's so, Edward is such a complex character. Because it's, it's like a hundred-year-old vampire in a 17-year-old's body. And you have to make a lot of choices whether you want to play him more as a teenager, more as someone older. And there's so much going on. He's got this ever-lust for blood. Like, everywhere he goes, he smells it. He can't get it off his mind. And he knows that this thing, that, that Bella is so wrong, but he's just... He can barely resist it, and it's just, I just don't know if, like, Robert could pull it off. Now, and people may call me crazy, I think if Johnny Depp was about 35 years younger, I think he could pull it off, just because of the amazing actor he is, and he would just, this would be right up his alley, like, dark, gothic, you know, like, like, you know, like, back from when he was on 21 Jump, Jump Street, like, that really hunky guy, he could really do it, but, you know, I mean, 
I just don't see him as a good um, Ed Edward. Now, this partially could be out of jealousy because, like, half the girls in my school are obsessed with him, but just really, as an actor, I really just don't like the way he does it. Alright, now, bring the flame comments on.